The last time IU hired a guy with Ohio ties to lead its basketball program, it worked out pretty well. Bob Knight marching the Hoosiers to three national championships. Adding another banner to Assembly Hall? Well, that's the goal for new coach Archie Miller. He heads to Bloomington after a successful stint in Dayton. Wayne TV is the only station from Fort Wayne to get a one-on-one -on -one interview with the new coach. We brought you part one of Sports Director Glenn Marini's interview earlier tonight at 6, and here's part two of that exclusive interview. The reason I'm here, um, and I really believe this, is the state of Indiana. You know, the state of Indiana, in many ways, is me. Growing up in Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania, your dad's a high school basketball coach, your brother Sean, 10 years older. What's a typical day like in the Miller household growing up during the basketball season? Well, during the basketball season, it was, it was simple. I mean, you, you're going to school, and um, your dad's in the school, and uh, you're either in the gym, you know, before you get going, and... And then once classes start to get going, you, you sort of go through your day and you find a study hall in the middle and you go back to the gym. Basketball practice at that point in time was everything. and uh, You never really knew how the ride home was going to go, depending on how you performed or how you, how you were uh, you know, getting the job done, so to speak. But you know, everything always came back to the same thing, improving. You were always on a quest to get better. Whether you liked to hear that you weren't getting the job done or you were, it really didn't matter. It was about the next day and you had to keep working. And, I think that was the biggest thing that you could take growing up in my house was just it was on a constant quest to work and get better. And you take a look at Sean, he's soaking wet. He is soaking wet right now. I'm a pretty sweaty guy myself. Watching your brother Sean coach though, I kind of marvel at, at his ability to perspire. Uh, is that a genetic trait? I hope not. I hope not. And I don't think I've, I don't think that, uh, that I've been quite like him over there on the side. But I will tell you, some of these arenas and some of these games, they get highly contested, it's hot, and they're making you wear a suit, so you can expect, the, you can expect it to be a little, a little bit of uh, perspiration going on. What's priority number one for you in this program? Players. Nothing means more to me than the players. Our guys are the most important aspects of what we do every day. There isn't one decision that I can make that won't go in and around what we do for them. Um, and if we stay the course with that, everything else will sort of take care of itself because your best recruiters are your players, uh, your best way of pleasing the fans are your players. Everything starts and stops with the guys on the team. Miller finds Hodge in the corner. Back to Miller off a shot, fake for three. You played at NC State, top ten in three-pointers when you graduated. How would Archie Miller coach... Archie Miller, the player. I let him shoot every time he got the ball. <laughs> That's probably wise advice. I let him shoot a ball every time he got it. No, I mean uh, honestly, uh, you know, I was a I was a coach's player. I was a player's coach, and I knew I knew the game. Uh, tried to be an extension as much as I could of, of what the coaching staff wanted. Uh, anytime you can have a guy out there that sort of looks you in the eye and you know kind of says, "I got you." you know, that, that's what you want to have out there. And uh, you know, to me, playing the game was fun. You've coached at Western Kentucky, you've coached at NC State, you've coached at Arizona, you've coached at Dayton. How many red ties do you own in your closet? I'd say probably, there's probably about 40, or 40, 40 to 45 red. That's lower than I would have thought. Some of them have blue in them, the red and blue <laughs> ones, I count those a little differently, straight red. But Are they thrown out now? We're going with straight crimson around here, that's all we're going to work with and um, try to keep it simple uh, but clean, but yeah, I had a... Unfortunately for me, I'm superstitious, so if we win with one tie, just keep wearing it. And, uh, you know, we've had some instances where some ties have, have gotten pretty beat up, so they're probably due for the trash anyway. Nicholas has his red tie. <laughs> yes. Uh, Is I'm that your good forecast Yes, tie? I'm superstitious too. When I wear this, <laughs> it means the weather's going to get good, but it's going to take a couple days because tomorrow uh, we know it's a, it's a gloomy yeah. one.